it's not perfect. It's stressful. Um, but I've learned to like, I've learned to like not forget, but just leave it to one side and just get on with whatever needs doing. And um, But I have my moments like, I just, one day I'll just lock myself in my room and just cry it all out and then I'll be fine like the next day. Um, but yeah, I'm like really strong. I, I keep my feelings in and I don't bring them out. Like. It's like some people here, they all just go to reception and let all their feelings out. And but me, I just keep it all locked in. And Cause obviously I've got my daughter now and I want her to grow up with like, obviously I'll pay for her driving when she's 17. Like, and I do everything that my mum never done with me. I moved in. Well, when I was moving my stuff in, um, the first thing I got was the boys whistling at me from the windows. And I was like, oh God, this is gonna be like a journey. Cause like, this was my last resort, this place. I was like, I, I was thought bad of it. Like, I thought it was the worst place going. I thought, you know what, it's, it's trampy, it's, it's disgusting. And then when I moved in, I was like, do you know what, it's not actually that bad. I don't really remember much of my childhood. Mm -hmm. We never used to do anything. We did, we like went out on days out and stuff, but weren't that fun. We weren't really a family. My grandma, she was like my mum figure really. And then she passed away. I think about four years roughly. So it's not but I obviously still grieve every day for her, but I know that she's obviously looking down at me, watching me. And my grandma, she was always there for me. Um, when me and my mum had arguments, she would like step in and she'd be like, no, no, you two could solve this. Like. But then obviously when we got told the news that she had breast cancer, we all, we all like broke down. I have like developed quite a lot over the years. And like for her to see that, I think I'd be pretty happy. But obviously I know she's looking down and she should be, yeah. Living in foster care down Kent, Basically, from 8 to 18, just before my 18th birthday, I was meant to be moving into a place just like this, but in Kent called um, Bridging the Gap. My foster care was basically just up and left and moved out, um, out to a foreign country. So I was left with no support and they just said, you've got to make a decision, you either um, basically stay here or you go back down to Kent and just learn to survive by yourself. I've got about three, four boxes of golds, um, not just for running, um, javelin, long jump, high jump, uh, shot put, um, 50 to 1,800 metres. Basically there was like, ah, oh, he's a pretty good runner and everything, and they asked me, oh, I've ever thought of joining, like doing training for um, the GP, um, to join the Olympics and everything, and I said no. I, I want to run my own business, like my own nails and my hair like salon. So obviously do acrylics and then a, a, like employ people and they can do hair because I'm more good at nails than hair. But also to like have my dream job which is to be either like a journalism reporter or like to live on my own independently, be stable and like just be happy. Other than be a security guard or like if I, if I had to join the Olympics or if I did Formula One, other than that, I don't know to be honest what I would do. I'd probably like, if I had a dream, dream job that I could actually, like if I knew for a fact, I'd get somewhere with it. And if I had the bits and pieces to be able to do this, then I'd, I'd probably be like an accountant or something like that. And I think that's what I need to start doing, just doing things I enjoy doing. and then it would just take my mind off things. My belief is like, if you work for what you want, then you're gonna get it. And that's what I've done. I've actually proved everyone wrong. And I've grown to be an independent woman. I am courageous. Loving. Playful. Fun to be around. Generous. I've worked to targets and deadlines. Trustworthy. Loyal. Don't 
want people to experience the things that I have. I'm always there, no matter what. Artistic. Intelligent. Good friend. Resilient. I like a challenge. I like to challenge myself. I'm a big softie.